Hey everyone, here I am doing exercise 1.2 in teacher chapter of class 7 and this is the first question. The question is, write down a pair of integer whose the first problem is sum is minus 7, second is difference is minus 10 and third one sum is 0. Now here you can have a different example. So your answer may not match with my answer or your answer may be different from your friend's answer. That's totally fine but the answer should be correct. So the first one here is sum is minus 7 which means we have to take a two integers. Pair pair means you have to take only two numbers, two integers. When you're adding it up, it should be equal to minus 7. So you can see that the final answer is negative and you're doing addition here. So if you remember the rules here or rules of the sign, when you add a uh, integer with the same sign or yeah same sign, your final answer will also have a same sign. So if here I'm going to add a two integer with a negative sign because if I add a two integer with a positive sign, I'll get the positive answer. But here I have a negative sign, right? That's fair. Or you can take a one positive and one negative, even that is fine. It's completely on you. So if you're taking a one positive number and one negative number, make sure that the greater number is negative because the final answer is negative, right? So here I'm going to take a one, uh, this is the first question. I'm going to show you two examples for the first question. So the first one is, I'm going to take both the integers negative. So you can take here minus two and minus five, see. So the first example, for first question, I'm taking first one example where both the numbers are negative. So minus two, then plus minus five. So you have learned that whenever you're adding an integer with the same sign, you have to add them and the sign will remain same. So add two plus five is seven. And since both are negative, sign will be negative. So you've got minus seven. Another one I told you is you can take a negative and one positive. But I'm going to take uh, here, okay, let me take an example like uh, we're doing addition, same, we have to do addition here. Okay, we want minus 7 as the answer, right? So you can take like uh, 13 and you can take here 6, okay? Now here, the question comes here is negative sign. I'm going to take a minus 13 and then I'll take a plus 6. Now you can see that we have an integer with different sign and you're doing addition here. Whenever you're adding an integer with a different sign, you have to subtract them. So 13 minus 6, when you do it, you will get the answer 7. And then you have to put a sign of a number which is greater. 13 is greater, its sign is negative, so minus 7. So if you take a negative sign to this 6 here, Again, you have to subtract it, but your answer will be plus 7. So that is why you have to put a negative sign to the uh, greater number. So this is about the first question. Now let's go to the second one. So in second question, we want the difference is minus 10. Means when you subtract two numbers, your answer should be equal to minus 10. Again, we have a negative uh, minus 10 here, negative number, minus sign we have. So again, it's subtraction. So when you're subtracting a two integers, it, it's a rule changes. It's not same as addition. So here, the simple example is, let us take a 25. So if I take minus 25, and then again minus, again I'll take a minus 10, because minus minus will become plus, right? So minus 25, minus into minus is plus, and then 10. Now you can see that we're doing a, we're doing addition of our numbers with a different sign. Different sign means we have to subtract them. Subtract 25 minus 10 will be, okay, I'm sorry, I have taken here 10. It should be 15. It's my mistake. It's not 10. Let us take minus 15 here. Okay, here it is minus 15. Now when you subtract it, you'll get the answer minus 10. Now the last question is sum is 0. So if you add a 2 integer, your answer has to be 0. So take any integer with different sign like minus 5 plus 5. It will be 0. You can take minus 10 plus 10. It will be 0. So this is a simple question. I hope it is clear. In case you have further question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.